Classical music is not something you normally associate with comedy, but two musicians have gained great success while having a little fun. This week, they take their act to Carnegie Hall. Our Stephanie Simon has a preview. So many world-class musicians have played Carnegie Hall, and some great comedians, too. But few can take the stage and do both, like the duo Igudisman and Jew. Alexi Agudisman and Hyung Ki Ju are quite the musical comedy act. Since their early days studying music in London, they both felt classical music concerts could stand a few laughs. We felt that going to concerts often resembled going to a funeral. And we just thought this has so little to do with the spirit of classical music. They insist classical music has always been funny. If you take, for example, the music of Mozart or Beethoven or Haydn, Haydn was a fantastic practical joker. He included a lot of jokes. For example, the famous Surprise Symphony, um, it starts off very, like, innocently and then... But don't say it, because oh, yeah. it won't be a surprise anymore. That's true. Yeah. That's true. As for some of their other music credits, Akutasman has worked on many film scores, and Ju was the piano man for none other than Billy Joel, playing the piano for Joel's classical music album back in 2001. It was just a great thrill to, to work with someone like Billy. Some of the ideas even in our show are inspired from, from Billy, because he's actually a very, very funny guy. And this is Ju doing Mozart, doing Billy Joel. Now, interestingly, Igudisman and Jew say on stage, things go best when things go wrong. That's why our show's called A Little Nightmare Music. It's about all the nightmares exactly. that go on. Because, you know, the, usually you have a normal interview and nothing happens. And it's, oh, my... <laughs> Which you don't actually see on camera, but he's fallen down. See them hit the notes, maybe the floor, and possibly I'll each other you. at Carnegie Hall this Tuesday night. And expect some surprise guests. For details, go to ny1.com. Stephanie Simon, New York One.